Hey, it's Mark Cunningham at Grace Property Management. So the last couple months, we've been going through different laws that the Colorado legislature has recently passed governing property management in Colorado. Everything from tenants' ability to bring their own screening report to reducing a landlord's ability to even look at an applicant's credit score. Well, this month, we're going to talk about another law that was passed. Compared to the last couple we've talked about, this law is pretty tame. It's SB 23206 in its new radon rules for landlords, and it also talks about the buyers and sellers of property, but it relates to radon, the invisible gas, of course, that takes place in Colorado. Colorado has a high level of radon concentration as compared to most of America. Now, the title of this bill is Concerning Information About Radon in Residential Real Property Transactions. The majority of this bill talks about the sale process, and if you are buying or selling a house, there are new disclosures, there's new rules and regulations you must make sure that you abide by to disclose, measure, and track radon in homes. It doesn't have a lot to do with property management, but for those of you that are tenants or property managers, it does impact you in a couple specific ways. Number one is this, landlords must now include a radon disclosure in the lease agreement to the tenant. So this needs to be given to the tenant prior to the lease signing this disclosure. Now the disclosure is very, very specific in the things that it must disclose. It's not just a piece of paper that you just print off a bunch of copies and give them to all your applicants. It has to be property specific. And for the particular property, it has to disclose the following four things. It has to disclose whether or not a radon test has ever been conducted. So owners have to know that. Number two, it has to disclose and give them any records and reports pertaining to radon. So if you as the owner or the landlord, you have reports that maybe when you bought the property were given to you, you must give copies of those to your tenant. Uh, number three, you have to give a description of any radon concentrations detected or mitigated. So if there was a test done previously and there were radon concentrations there, you need to disclose that information to your new tenant. And then lastly, you must give them information regarding any radon mitigation system. So if the property has a radon mitigation system already in the house, you have to give information to the tenant about that. Now, all these things, again, are property specific. It's not just a general document that you can hand to the tenant. In addition to that, there is a general document that you must give to each tenant. This is just a screenshot of what that looks like. This is put out uh, by the EPA. It's called Radon in Real Estate. It's a multi-page document. If you want to get scared before bed tonight, go read this document because it talks about all of the hazards of radon gas, what it can do, what it can't do, what we know about it, what we don't know about it. But this disclosure must be given to all tenants prior to them signing a lease. Now for landlords, if you do not provide this information to the tenant, the tenant can void the lease at any point in time they want. So it's very important that you as a landlord or property manager give this information to your tenant on the front end. Now the bill also has some other important aspects. This is the most important one. What it says is if the tenant or the landlord ever conduct a radon test in the property, and if that radon test measures for, I believe it's pronounced percocories, per liter or more, that's a measurement of radon gas, then the landlord must mitigate that radon at the landlord's expense. So what this means is if the tenant goes and decides, you know what, I want to get my rental property tested for radon, and they do the measurement, and the measurement comes back at more than four on the scale, and they tell the landlord, the landlord must go in and do a mitigation of the radon at the landlord's expense. Now, most properties, it's not incredibly expensive. You can typically have radon mitigations done for anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500. They come in in the basement of the property, they seal the concrete, and they drill down, install some uh, mitigation. So it's not overly excessive, but there is work to be done. And this must be done at the landlord's expense. I think the landlord has 120 days, I believe it is, to get that done uh, upon that finding. So we don't view this as an incredibly um, overarching bill, but it's something that property managers and tenants need to be aware of because it's going to impact residential rentals in Colorado. If we can be a resource at Grace Property Management, we're happy to do so. Jump on our website. If you're a current client of ours, just know that we will take care of this for you within our full service management that we do. If one of your tenants notifies us of those radon uh, measurements, we will get that taken care of on your behalf. But consider us a resource at Grace Property Management. We're happy to help if we can.